Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table where I share my family's favorite healthy recipes that hopefully will inspire you to have fun in your kitchen. And if you haven't subscribed or liked this video, please do and feel free to leave a comment below too. So today we're making Jerry's favorite dessert. It's called a deconstructed apple pie. It's super easy and really, really tasty. I think Jerry really likes these because of the crispness of the crust. The apples are sweet and cinnamony and they're stacked way high. I like them because they're really easy and they're fun to eat. I'm starting with the pie crust. Use either a two inch round biscuit cutter or your favorite cookie cutter. You can use a homemade pie crust or store bought. Um, we're just gonna cut as many shapes as we can out of, the, out of the dough. Put the dough cutouts on a sill pad or parchment paper covered baking sheet. Prick the dough a few times with a fork so they stay flat and cook evenly. Bake them for 10 to 12 minutes at 350 until they're golden brown. While the pie dough is baking, peel three apples and cut them into half inch wedges and set them aside. In a large bowl, mix together a half cup sugar, two teaspoons cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon salt, and add your apples and coat them with the cinnamon sugar mixture. Squeeze a half a lemon onto your apples. Give them another toss. And then you're going to place them onto the silt pad. And bake them for 10 to 15 minutes at 350. They should be tender but firm and the sugar should have turned into a beautiful light golden caramel. So now for the fun part, putting it all together. We're gonna start with the pie crust on bottom and then some of our caramel apples. And then another piece of pie crust. Pick a different leaf this time. And maybe some more apple. There we go. And we'll top this with whipped cream and a little bit of cinnamon. So good, easy to make, and fun to eat. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these as much as we do. And if you want to print out the recipe, I'll put that link below. And until next week, go have fun in your kitchen and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.